I'm Jeremiah with Handloader Magazine, and welcome to our reloading room. Today we're taking a look at the Redding Big Boss Pro Pack Reloading Kit. The centerpiece is the Big Boss Press, featuring a primer catch system, priming arm which offers on the press priming, and its angled O design allows for easy access to the shell holder for placing your cases in there and watching the operation of the press. Also included is a Redding case lubricant pad, and case lube, a powder funnel, a really nice powder trickler, a balance beam scale with a powder pan, a chamfer and deburr tool, a handle for using your primer pocket cleaners and case neck brushes which are included in this kit. All in all, it looks like a pretty solid kit and we're going to walk you through the reloading process using this kit. So now that we've overviewed the press and what's included, it's time to size some cases. So we have some Nosler cases here that we're going to lubricate. These are 28 Nosler. And we'll apply a little bit of case lube onto the pad. Work that in with our fingers real quick. Place the cases onto the pad. Just give them a quick roll. This stuff works really nice, it doesn't take very much. The last few, give them a good roll. And then we'll take our case neck brush, roll it on the pad, and we'll lubricate the necks so that our expander ball doesn't get hung up. And I like these nylon case neck brushes. Uh, I'm a big fan of them. They just work very well. Now that all our cases are properly lubricated, we can get to sizing. Take our case, insert it into the shell holder, and we'll run it up into the die. Now that we've sized all of our cases, it's time to move on to the next step. Now that we have sized all of our cases, it's time to prime them. We'll be using Winchester Large Rifle Magnum Primers. We'll take our case, insert it into the shell holder. Now you have to handle these primers by hand in order to use this priming arm, which I'm not a big fan of. However, Redding does offer an automatic priming system for this press. We'll place a primer in there, lower the ram, and seat the primer. Now that we have primed all of our cases, it's time to dispense our powder. Included in the kit is a trickler, but since we're reloading for 28 Nosler, it would take quite a bit of time to trickle all the powder into the case. We happen to have on hand a Redding BR30 powder measure, which would make a great addition to this kit. The charge weight is 76 grains, so we'll have to throw twice in order to bring it up to proper charge weight. So we'll take our pan here. And we'll check the weight on the scale. So now that we have charged all of our cases, it's time to move on to the next step. I really like 
the included trickler. It allows you to very precisely trickle up one granule at a time so you can have very accurate charge weights, especially utilizing the balance beam scale. Now, a powder measure would make a great addition to this kit, and I really like this Redding BR30. As you can see, it throws very consistent charges, even when you have to throw twice to get to proper charge weight. So, now that we have charged all of our cases, it's time to seat some bullets. We're using Nosler RDF 185 grain projectiles, and we have our Redding seating die with a micrometer adjustment all set up and ready to go. So we'll take our case, place it into the shell holder, take our bullet, place it as squarely as possible, and run it down. So now that we've finished seeding bullets, let's talk about the kit. Overall, I really like the kit. There's a couple things I'd like to see included, like a loading block, a good caliper, and if I was you, I'd highly recommend looking into the Redding BR30 powder measure. It's a perfect addition to this kit, throws consistent, and worked really, really well for us. Other than that, it contains everything you need to get started in your hand-loading adventures.